Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to this new video series about uh, how to create games with the Solaris engine um, which is an engine to create uh, two-dimensional adventure games Zelda-like games um, so you can make for example a Zelda like this with this is a screenshot of Solaris Quest Editor or you can make another adventure game uh, with, with graphics other than Zelda if you want um, and all of and the game will be scripted in Lua the programming language Lua so um, Solaris is meant uh, for people who want to do some programming to program to script the behavior of the of their game of their puzzles and everything if you don't want to program or uh, if you prefer something completely uh, integrated, completely graphical, um, maybe I, I can recommend some some other software, some other game creation software I like. Um, Zelda Classic for Zelda games or RPG Maker, uh, Multimedia Fusion, Game Creator and probably others but um, okay this is about Solaris um, in this first video I will just show you how to download the Solaris engine and Solaris Quest Editor for Windows and how to create a new project so this is the official website solarisgames.org you can find it on Google uh, engine download Let's download the latest version. At the time I'm recording this video, this is version 1.5.0. Um, actually, it was released. It was just released yesterday. Um, so uh, yeah, download. And I should also tell you that uh, I am the the creator of Solaris. <laughs> So that, that's why I'm making this video series. I want to explain to you guys how it works. And I want to allow you to make your own games. Because uh, yeah, our team has already released uh, three Zelda games. And may maybe you have heard of them, maybe you have, you have played them. But uh, we are still working on other games. Okay. Download finished. Um, where did I put this? Here. I made a tutorial folder. Extract. So, on Windows, this single download contains both the Solaris engine that is the part allowing to run games, existing games, and the Solaris Quest Editor, which allows you to create your own games or to edit existing games. Okay, so when you download Solaris, you have this. There's also a sample quest provided. Um, you can try to play it and to open it in the Quest Editor, editor but um, it's very, very short for now. There is only one map with a few entities on it uh, so uh, the Solaris engine is this file and this file if you want but uh, mostly this one solaris.exe and you can you can add a quest here so for example you, you could very well add a sample quest to this list and then you can play um, I won't play the sample quest in this tutorial, this is not really the point, but uh, yeah, this window is to play existing quests. So you can say a quest or a game or even a project if you want, all of this is the same. Um, and this one is essentially the same thing but without window. 
it's to directly play the uh, the game a game that would be in the current directory. So, but there is no game in the current directory yet. It's just for people who don't want to use the window but directly use execute a quest. Um, but in this tutorial, of course, we are going to focus on editing, creating games. So let's open the quest editor. Uh, I have this error message because because of the previous history. It, it, it just tried to open the previous quest. Uh, I just oops, created a shortcut on the desktop. So I was quest editor. Okay, so here's the main window of the quest editor. Um, <coughs> I should put this in English. Uh, well, I'm not even sure how to do that. Okay, never mind. I will fix this for the next tutorials. Actually, the, I think uh, the next tutorial will not be recorded on Windows because uh, once you installed Solaris and Solaris Quest Editor, the operating system uh, does not really matter. You do essentially everything from the, the Quest Editor window. So, File, New Quest, and then you choose the directory where to create a quest. So, here. <coughs> and it will initialize a new project um, that you can already play but by press by clicking here run quest you have the Solaris logo and then this uh, very short uh, and empty map and you already have a playable character um, so when you create this new quest you have you have not only this, you have the map, it's here. I will explain how to, of course, create maps in next tutorials. You have some musics, sounds, sprites, including the hero, which, which is here. Sp this is the sprite sheet, sprite sheet editor. Tile sets, tile sets are the um, collections of graphics for maps. Um, so there is not much in this tile set. We will improve this one day. You, als you also have other resource folders like languages, item equipment item scripts, fonts, custom entity scripts, enemy scripts, and uh, well that's it. But it's already a lot. We will see all of this, of course, in the next tutorials. And there is a main script here. Um, but we won't do any programming in this first tutorial. It's okay. You can close this window. Um, quest properties. You might want to uh, fill this at some point. For example, give a, ti give a title to your quest. Um, let's call this tutorial quest. Okay, you can put a short description, a longer description, your name here, give a version number if you want. Um, we will do this in, in another in another tutorial, but um, already at this point, if you run the quest again, you can see the title that you put here appears in the in the window in the window title um, again about the initial resources that you have here sounds music everything there is absolutely no Zelda assets 
there are absolutely no Zelda assets. All of this is completely free. The license of the uh, main character is a Creative Commons and actually uh, same for the, the tile set. The tile set, this particular tile set comes from Open Game Art and the character was made for the, by the Solaris team, by Dire Render. Okay, and you also have this uh, console view with information about when you run the game, everything, the, the output is, print, is printed here. Okay, so um, that's almost <laughs> everything I wanted to say in this first episode. We just created a project. And uh, more concretely, the project is actually a data folder created in another folder, so it means that the qu your quest folder is here, this one, and the data is here. So you can actually see all files. This is the first map. Uh, you can see everything, uh, sprites. This is the same view as here, more or less, except that here it's presented as as resources, and it it only shows the files recognized by the quest by the quest editor. Um, okay, I think that's enough for this episode. If you have any particular issues to install. Uh, Solaris and Solaris Quest Editor. Don't hesitate to ask in the comments of this video or better on the forums, on the official Solaris forums. And if you liked it, don't hesitate to <laughs> put a like to the video. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye!